Charlotte, where Jim Nance and Billy Packer are set to call Oakland and North Carolina. It's also game time in Oklahoma City, where St. Mary's is set to take on Southern Illinois. Craig Bullerjack and Bob Wenzel are there. Enjoy the tournament action, everyone, here on CBS. Game two of the day in Oklahoma City. Round one action continues. St. Mary's, the 10th seed from the Chicago bracket, takes on Southern Illinois. The Salukis, the seventh seed. Now, the winner of this game will play Oklahoma State Sunday. The Cowboys advance. They beat Southeastern Louisiana earlier here in Oklahoma City, 63-50. Illinois, the number one seed, won yesterday, along with Nevada, Wisconsin, Milwaukee, Boston College uh, rolls on to round two, along with Arizona and UAB. We check out today's lineups for St. Mary's. One of the forwards will be Frederick Ajuwanu, Daniel Kickert. Fine outside shot from down under Australia, Jonathan Sanders, Paul Marigny, and E.J. Rowland. Now for Southern Illinois, they'll go with Matt Shaw, Josh Warren, Stetson Hairston, Jamal Tatum, and Darren Brooks in the backcourt. There's the head coach of the Salukis, Chris Lowry. First year, only 32 years of age, the youngest coach in March Madness and the Missouri Valley Conference Coach of the Year. He'll be battling Randy Bennett today in his fourth season with St. Mary's. His record, 68 and 55. And Bob St. Mary's, the Gales, 25 and 8. Illinois, the Salukis, 26 and 7. It's the West Coast Conference against the Missouri Valley. What we can expect in this game is the Salukis are a team very experienced. They've been four straight years to the NCAA tournament. Their signature is their man-to-man -man defense, and the signature of St. Mary's is the three-point shot. Keep your eye on number 14, Daniel Kickett out at the top. 6'10", you mentioned from Australia. He shoots the ball frequently and accurately from the three-point range. He put, he put down seven threes in that West Coast Conference title game against Gonzaga. They worked the shot clock to six. A little hop and a jump. No shot would go for Marigny. Here come the Salukis across midcourt. I like their numbers, Bob. Anybody with bad vision can pick it up easily. <laughs> These are the largest numbers in college basketball. No question. Number one, Darren Brooks with the ball. The two guard leads them in scoring and rebounding. Put his name in the NBA draft last year. Took it out. His coach very happy that he did. Brooks. Very, very solid performance. Brooks nearly turned it over Tatum. Down low, they back it in. Big fella up off the window would not fall down for Warren. E.J. Rowland, a guard from Salinas, California, started all 34 games. There's Kickett driving baseline, tough to move. A little undersized, but spins around, and the junior from Australia gets on the board. I talked to his coach about him earlier, and I said, boy, this guy really shoots great from the outside. He said his footwork when he first came here, he was strictly an inside player, so now he's rounded out his game nicely. Air ball by Hairston. St. Mary's trying to play out of the shadow of Gonzaga, Bob, from the... West Coast Conference, back the other way. Tatum with the left hand. And Jamal Tatum gets the Salukis on the board. Great speed by Tatum. Randy Bennett is very happy that Gonzaga has played very, very well. He says they've earned all the accolades that they've gotten. And of course, his team, the second breath when you talk about the West Coast Conference. Foul on Tatum. That will be his first and the first team foul against Southern Illinois. They won 26 games during the season. Lost in the semifinals of the Missouri Valley Conference Tournament to Southwest Missouri State. 65-61. Of the 10 players starting in this game, eight are seniors. Ajiwanu, jump shot with the right hand. Off the rim with the put back by Kicker. I'll tell you what, we talked about the three-point shooting of Kickett, and we haven't seen it yet. You mentioned he made seven in the championship against Gonzaga, taking it inside in this game early. This may be a little, bit of a surprise to the Salukis to see a 6'10 kicker starting to go inside a little bit of Shaw inside the arc, hit the bucket. He's the, all, a freshman. He's the only freshman playing in this game right now. He became a starter at midseason. Since that time, they're 11-2. 
Kicker working against Shaw. Turned it over, bounced it out of bounds. A lot of Australian players in the NCAA tournament this year, obviously. Kicker, one of them, Luke Schenzer from Georgia Tech, another, and Andrew Bogut. That's a heck of a front line. I think the backcourt should be Nicole Kidman and Russell Crowe. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> An all-Australia team. Naomi Watson, maybe the sixth, the sixth player off the bench. There you go. Shaw working against Ajiwanu. Nice. Tatum for three. Got it. Nice movement. Nice movement. Little weave action with the three guards. Tatum with five quick points here. And it's 7-4 Southern Illinois. Southern Illinois doing a great job. Cognizant of the three-point shot. They are up on people in their faces at the three-point line. Out of bounds, last touched by St. Mary's. And so the Salukis will have it. Tatum will bring it up. Salukis last year in the NCAA tournament, Craig, a loser by one point, 65-64 to Alabama, and then lost to Missouri in 2003. And Bob, this is the fourth year in a row to receive an at-large bid. Unprecedented for a team from that league. The Missouri Valley, free from the Missouri Valley in the tournament this year. Shaw, nice looking shot. Shaw, the freshman, Centralia, Illinois. He was on that Missouri Valley Conference all-freshman team. You can see why. Two for two from the floor, and the Salukis have opened up a five-point lead in Oklahoma City. Ten seed St. Mary's against seven seed Southern Illinois. It's the highest seeding in school history, Bob, of the Salukis, winning 26 and seven on the season. St. Mary's 25 and eight, and it's an early nine-point Saluki lead. Four straight years. The coaches. This is their third coach in three years. Of course, Bruce Weber at Illinois coached here and Matt Painter at Purdue. Tatum turned it over, eighth tournament appearance for Southern Illinois. They lost last year in the first round, as you mentioned, Bob, to Alabama. They were in the Sweet 16 back in 2002. Yes, indeed. I'll tell you what, they, they have a great, great history in this tournament. Nice trapping situation right there. Brooks with the pickoff. He puts it on the floor, drives, hangs, scoops it off the window. Tough shot, nicely done by the senior from St. Louis. Physical guard. Three of them out there. Tatum, great quickness, number three right here. Kickert, two for two. Rest of the Saluki team, 0 for four. They hand it off to Marigny. Now back to Kickert, thought about the three. They're working it. Shot clock to 16, loose ball, picked up baseline. Stolen away, Tatum has it. Salukis have made their last five shots, but they turn it over this time down. Well, the defense of the Salukis very much in evidence early. Watch the trap on the right-hand side. Tough to see out of that. The easy steal by Brooks. His teammates did all the work, and then he does the finishing touches off the glass. Very powerful guard. Averages 15 points and five rebounds a game. Shoots 80% from the foul line, 42% from three-point range. Guy does everything for his team. A couple of substitutions for Southern Illinois. Tony Young's in along with Randall Falker. That's the fifth turnover. I think a little jitters for both of these teams early in the game, especially St. Mary's. First time in eight years they've been to the tournament. Chris Lowry, of course, a first-year coach. His first NCAA tournament game as a head coach. Will drop pass, coming down the baseline, and it drops down for Falker, who just checked in. A freshman for St. Louis, a redshirt freshman. Conspicuously absent so far is number 11, Paul Marigny of St. Mary's. He is their leading scorer, has very few touches. Tied up. Well, the trapping at half court has been excellent right here. The Salukis going right after it. A trap right here on the left sideline. Last time they trapped him on the right-hand sideline. The trap is going to be right in there. And when that happens, they create turnovers. Darren Brooks has already handed out a couple of assists. He has 145 this season. Sets a new Southern Illinois single season record. 
Tony Young with the ball. Substitute, but plays an awful lot. Tenacious defender. There's Brooks. Fires inside. Little bump, no whistle. And taking a step was Falker. So back the other way we come. St. Mary's 13-14, Southern Illinois. Well, what's happened so far in this game is the defense of Southern Illinois has been a trapping variety out of man-to-man. -man. They try to trap near the 10-second line. They've created two turnovers out of that. Pressure on the ball has been constant in this game so far. Sanders working hard to bring it down the court, looking for kicker. Boy, in his face is Tony Young. Jason Wahlberg is in for St. Mary's, number 21, kicker. Boy, tough right now to move. Throws an elbow. Offensive foul against Kickert. What we expected in this game was these two players, Daniel Kickert and Marigny, to be big-time scorers. Look at their numbers in their last six games. Magnificent. They combined for 61% of the team's total points. Kickert got off early. Marigny has yet to touch the ball in a scoring situation. Kicker making his 95th consecutive start today. Durability, the junior. He was the West Coast Conference Player of the Year. Long jumper, too strong. Reaching out for the rebound, Wahlberg. Here comes St. Mary's. Boy, it's been a long dry spell. Played over seven minutes, only four points. Well, credit the Saluki's defense. They are pressuring the basketball. They're jumping in the passing lanes. They're trapping when that situation arises. They're doing a great job defensively in this game. Very aware of the three-point prowess of St. Mary's. Roland, the tip, the tip would not go. Two good looks by Sanders, and now a whistle underneath. And stepping out of bounds, I believe that's a Saluki's uh, number 15. Well, St. Mary's, Tony Young. St. Yeah, Tony, and St. Mary's is going to get to keep the basketball right here. A new shot clock in this situation. Second foul on Kicker as he was trying to move to position himself on that inbounds pass. Decision time for Randy Bennett. His second leading scorer, two fouls early in the game. This one at the offensive end. If he lets Kicker play, he's got to trust that Kicker's not going to get his third. Only St. Mary's player Bob to score. He may not have a choice at this point. Darren Brooks working on Wahlberg. Now Young drops it down on the low block. Back to Young, wants the three, got it. Tony Young with the three, 16-4 Southern Illinois. And St. Mary's over two minutes without a bucket from the floor. And there is a turnover by Sanders and a timeout much needed by St. Mary's 16-4 Salukis. <laughs> Rough start for St. Mary's and head coach Randy Bennett. They trail 16 to 4 and Bob you know you just have to wonder can you weather the storm the nervousness this is the Gales first tournament appearance appearance since 1997 and their fourth overall. I think what's happened is they were very nervous coming out and he called a timeout and said let's get aggressive at the defensive end try to make something happen from there. He has also inserted one of his more aggressive guys Brett Collins number 23. He has also changed right here. He's putting kicker on the inside instead of at along the three-point lane. So some adjustments by Bennett to get them back in the game here, changing the attitude. Kicker's a guy who's a three-point marksman, but he's got to play closer to the basket as he goes out with two fouls. Harrison picked up the foul for Southern Illinois. The other problem is the turnovers. Nine turnovers in the first eight minutes of this first half that has resulted in 10 Southern Illinois points. Well, that's Collins, the aggressive guy I told you about. Wahlberg, number 21, just turned his ankle here. His left ankle hobbling as he goes to the sideline, taking himself out of the game. He's a junior college transfer, a guy who gives him some energy off the bench. So Kicker is going to come back into the game here, Craig, playing with two fouls. This is risky business right here for Randy Bennett. Marigny still number 11 defensively here. St. Mary's 
Their big time scorer has not touched the ball. Mike Dale in for the Salukis. Goes to the left hand, now to Owen. Good switch, floater, right hand wouldn't go, but the follow up by Falker. Couple of buckets off the bench. The bench has scored seven here early for the Salukis. Frequent substitutions, two guys coming to the bench. The reason for that is they're trying to maintain their intensity at the defensive end. 14 possessions for St. Mary's, as you see, only three field goals. Kicker hit the first two, and then Collins has one. Well, Marigny wanted to go right there. You could see that. He tugged his own shirt. That's a signal to, for him to go one-on-one. -on -one. Right here, the follow on the weak side. Falker coming from the free throw line. Nobody checks him out. He's got some jumping ability. Foul was on Young, his first. Kicker hits a three. Boy, for the big fella, nice range. Seven points. He had seven, as I mentioned, against Gonzaga in that loss in the West Coast Conference title game. Well, he and Marigny have been the men for these, these guys. Pull-up shot, sweet. Mike Dale off the bench with two. I'm really surprised, Craig, they haven't gone more to Marigny. There he is. I mean, that's like a 40-footer. That's a frustration three right there. Shaw the rebound. Tatum works himself up top of the key now. Dale has it. Marigny had 20 and 10 rebounds, 20 and 11 rebounds in their last two games, and that's the first shot he's taken here. They need to do a better job of finding him some screens. Saluki's using some clock. Dale... And he hands it back off to Shaw, who hits his third bucket. He hits 58% of his shots. And Bob Amazing, a year ago, he's playing at Centralia High School in Centralia, Illinois, averaging 22 and 10. I'll tell you, he has some physical prowess about him, too. He's a strong-looking freshman. At Illinois, equal distribution of the ball. Nice passing and screening. They find one another. A little dribble penetration. Shaw pops to the perimeter. When you have a big man who pops to the perimeter for jump shots. It's difficult for his man to guard him. Big guy's used to trying to clog the middle. He's a guy who shoots from the perimeter. Loves that pick and pop kind of play. You know, you just saw Shaw. He just turned 19 last week, but I, I swear he looks 25. <laughs> He's strong, isn't he? <laughs> Timeout. 22-9, Southern Illinois. Back in Oklahoma City, a quick start by Southern Illinois, 22 to nine over the Gales of St. Mary's. The West Coast Conference taking on the Missouri Valley Conference. And Craig, they have jumped all over them with defense. 33% is what they're shooting from the field and they've got nine turnovers already in the game, St. Mary's. And Southern Illinois has used those nine turnovers for 10 points. A whistle underneath off the missed shot. You see Orange uh, all in the background here. Oklahoma State fans sitting around doing a scouting report on who their next opponent will be. Roland picked up the foul for St. Mary's. That's his first and the team's fourth. Out of bounds. It belongs now to St. Mary's. They need to get something going here at the 907 mark. Well, obviously, what they have to do is find Marigny off some screens right here, but the pressure has really gotten to them. Shaw doing a nice job moving his feet. He's pretty athletic and strong for a guy who's a freshman. So far, it's been a one-man show, and that's kicker. They go inside. Ajiwanu, loose ball, picked up. Saluki's have it. They bring it down to Tatum on the near side wing. Launches the three off the iron. Fresh much shot more clock. Hustle. Much yeah. more hustle. They're quicker to the basketball. They're more aggressive. That's why this game is going the way it's going right now. Brooks one on one with his left hand drives collision. No whistle. Loose ball. Warren with the putback. Interesting substitution pattern by Chris Lowry. He has Shaw and Warren in the game. He takes them out and they are physical kinds of post guys. Brings in Owen and Falker who are more explosive athletic type post players. Nice little rotation with the four and five men. Bob your points well taken. The defense that is being shown by Southern Illinois is, is just like a blanket over St. Mary's. Uh, they, they can't run their offense at all. And what you have to do in response to that is use the dribble penetration. 
There is Chris Lowry in your screen. You mentioned the youngest coach in the NCAA tournament at 32. Didn't he tell you a story? Oh, about it's, it's, this is a great one because he said to us yesterday, yeah, I'm 32, and I everywhere I go, they say, hey, hey, son, where's your coach? <laughs> oh, and, oh, he's in the back in the locker room. I'll go get him. <laughs> Little do they know it's uh, that they're speaking to the man right there, Chris Lowry, 32 years young. Well, there's Marigny on his first good attempt right there. Taking the ball to the basket, and that's what you have to do. When you are pressured like they are being pressured, you have to put the ball on the floor, create something off the dribble. Very difficult to pass against Southern Illinois. They jump in the passing lanes, they pressure the passer. Very impressive defense. Bob Marigny needs to get going. Averages 17 points a game. He's a first-team All-West Coast Conference player. His first bucket, Tatum baseline spinner. A little strong, loose ball, and a push. Yeah, Shaw used his physical prowess a little too much on kicker that time. That's two on Shaw and a timeout here in Oklahoma City. Saluki's up 24-11. Bob, the numbers tell the story. Southern Illinois shooting 52%. The turnovers, 10 committed by St. Mary's. And then, if you draw that arrow down just a little bit to your right, 12 points off those 10 turnovers. Well, that's been the story of the game. Certainly, the defense is creating offensive opportunities for Southern Illinois. Very impressive defense. Lots of switching, lots of traps, lots of helping you one another out. you got to use the dribble against these guys, and Marigny's the guy that's going to have to do it. Number 33, Blake Scholberg has checked in. Seven foot one inch sophomore. And on the shot, kicker is fouled. He'll go to the free throw line. Well, that was a nice high low play. That's the first one that they've had right here. Kickert sealing his man. He's being fronted. Brooks, much smaller than Kickert. He got him caught on that switch. And that's what he needs to do. Keep in mind, he's playing with two fouls right now. So at the defensive end, he cannot be too aggressive. Kicker makes the first. A terrific free throw shooter at 83% makes them both. So Kicker right now trying to keep St. Mary's close all by himself. He scored nine of the Gales' 13 points under seven minutes left before half. Blake Schulberg, also number 33, a seven-footer in the game right now. I think that Randy Bennett is a little concerned with all of the offensive rebounds that have been gotten by Saluki's early. Puts in a bigger man. Brooks fed Warren, standing on that pivot foot, could not get around Schulberg. Ten on the shot. To the corner. Brooks dribble drive, hands with a Warren, rejected the putback. No. Good defensive stand by St. Mary's. Size helped in that situation. Out of control, and he took an extra step. Rolling, running away with it, and lost the motor. That was disorganization on the press right here. Great block right here. Blue jerseys everywhere. Size helping in this kind of a situation. But they have not been able to change and get things going at the offensive end. Brooks drives the lane to the... Baseline jumper. Oh, do they work together? Warren hits it. Sweet shot. Couple of buckets. A senior from Washington, Missouri. Six minutes to play in the opening half, and the Gales answer. Marigny lights it up with a three. It's a 10 point Saluki lead. Nice response by St. Mary's, Craig. They're not getting anything done in the half court. What's your response? Push it up quickly, take a quicker shot before the defense can get set. Darren Brooks, Warren sets the pick. Nearly left his feet. Now Tatum swings over to help with nine on the shot. And nearly stolen by Sanders. There'll be eight on the shot clock. Well, Darren Brooks creates for himself and others right here. Draws the defense to him. And Joshua Warren able to knock in the easy one. Nice play. Draw and dish. Six on the shot. Four on the shot. And the bucket falls down for Hairston. All five starters, Bob, have scored now for the Salukis. Frequent substitutions also by Larry. Look at this double team right here. That has been a frequent occurrence in this game. Well, they've hounded the point, haven't they? The good thing, you have to know when to leave your man, and someone's got to cover your man when you leave him. Nice movement. Three-point shot on the way. Missed. Good look, however, by Sanders. 
under five to go, 28-16, Southern Illinois. Highest seeding in school history, and we talked to Chris Lowry about that. Pressure about making another step, to take the next step. Sweet 16 in 2002, they've lost in round one the last two seasons. Missouri by one, Alabama by one. And of course, those obviously very, very close games, they feel very confident coming in here. A three, too strong. Pretty good idea. I talked a little bit about shooting quickly for St. Mary's. I think that's what they need to do. Even though Marigny missed that shot, Scholberg there. Difficult to block somebody out when it's in transition. Nice response by St. Mary's to get themselves back into the game. St. Mary's trying now to start spreading it out a little bit on the Kick it with nine. Schulberg on the board along with Collins and Marigny. You notice how Shaw and Warren always like to pop to the perimeter? Brooks. The other way, and a timeout. Ten points, a Luki lead with 3.45 left before half. In Oklahoma City, Southern Illinois leading St. Mary's by 10. Chris Lowry told us, let's play in the 60s. Let's guard and pressure. And Bob, the game plan's intact. It certainly is. They are pressuring big time, creating lots of turnovers, using a lot of players. He's substituting frequently to keep his guys fresh. And they have taken St. Mary's completely out of their offense. Kickert's got nine, Shaw six. Kickert and Marigny have 14 points. The rest of the team only four. They are five for nine. The rest of the team two for eight from the field. Bob, all five starters have scored for the Salukis. They've also got nine points off the bench. Well, the turnover story is the story of this game. The pressure defense causing the turnovers and causing the easy baskets in transition. Eight-point Saluki lead. Tatum, the floater, high off the window, kick it, the rebound. They want to try to run. Here comes Sanders. I'd like to see them shoot early in this possession. Sanders kicks it back out to Collins. He'll go baseline. High arcing shot, no. Rebound, Young, and a whistle. Well, you talk about the mid-majors. I don't like that word, but these are the teams that we think are the top seven in the country, and of course, Pacific won their game against Pittsburgh, St. Mary's, and uh, Southern Illinois going at it here. And of course, the king of the mid-majors, Gonzaga, beat Winthrop in their game, opening round. Three teams from the Missouri Valley in it, Northern Iowa, the Salukis, and of course, Creighton lost a heartbreaker to West Virginia last night. Nice. Nice bucket by Brooks as he turned the motor on. Brooks with a couple of buckets, four points. Yeah, two teams out of the West Coast Conference, Gonzaga, St. Mary's. Look at this pressure. From the opening tip, they have denied the point. There's a long three by Kicker. Last touch by the Salukis, and so St. Mary's will have it. Two forty-five left, opening half here in Oklahoma City. The tenth seed, St. Mary's, the Gales taking on the seventh seed, the Southern Illinois Salukis. Turnovers an issue for St. Mary's early. They crawled back to within ten. St. Mary's, the West Coast Conference, the Salukis out of the Missouri Valley Conference. Pressure defense of Southern Illinois has been the story of this game. Kicker has missed only one shot in the game so far. He has scored nine points, the 6'10 player from Australia, carrying the load for St. Mary's so far at the offensive end. But I have been very, very impressed with Chris Lowry's defense. They've trapped, they've run traps in the half court, the full court, extremely solid defensively. Kickert now in double figures with 10, and CBS Sportsline keeps you on top of all the men's NCAA tournament action. Get real-time bracket updates and expert picks for each and every first-round game. It's all at CBSSportsline.com. Kickert averaging 16.6 already with 11 here. Bob in the first half with 2.38 to play. So Kickert's going to go out. Randy Bennett's doing an interesting thing with Kicker. He's got two fouls, 
He's trying to put him in offense defense. He wants him in offensively. Obviously, he's their main man. But Bennett concerned that he might get fouled if he keeps him in at the defensive end. Good motion by the Salukis. They go inside. And the flush by Falker off the bench, Bob, with three buckets, six points. I'll tell you what, he is explosive around the basket. A different kind of post player than Joshua Warren, who's more physical, doesn't get off the ground, but shoots from the outside. Nice combination of inside play. Marigny puts it on the floor behind his back. Contact. Now there's a whistle and a jump. Well, Folker on the inside does a good job of posting, gets his man on his back, slides easily to the basket. Ajuwanu tried to steal the ball. The gamble did not pay off. Kicker will come back in as Sanders will go out for St. Mary's. A lot of substitutions. Yes. Both these coaches in the first half. Lamar Owen in there. He wants to guard kick it man to man. Oh, nice, nice idea. Collins could not convert on the inbound. Under two minutes left, 10 point game for Southern Illinois. Equal opportunity offense for the Salukis, but this is their man. When in doubt, get it to Brooks. And he's fouled on that one. Darren Brooks, the senior, averaging 15 a game out of St. Louis. St. Mary's is first, team six. Two shots. And the line. Brett Collins, Bob Whistle for the foul, and that puts Brooks at the free throw line. Four points on the day, and makes it five. Well, coming up on singular at the half, Ray Gumble, Clark Kellogg, Seth Davis, though they're busy, but they'll get you caught up in all the tournament news and have live look-ins and all the action going on in the tournament, plus a singular Naismith update. That's all coming up on singular at the half. This guy, Darren Brooks, the player of the year and the defensive player of the year in the Missouri Valley two straight years. First time in history anyone has done that. Quite a performer. Not known for an outside shot, but he's shooting 42%. There are his numbers. Leads his team in rebounding and scoring. Great assist man and solid defensively. Pretty spectacular Saluki. What is a Saluki anyway? I know what a Saluki is. Tell me. Free throw miss. Whoa, whoa. Hey, hang on, I'll tell you. Oh, you're going to leave us in uh, anxiety here, huh? I'm telling you. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what one thing Salukis do is they play very, very solid defense. Five-player movement right here. Everybody goes inside and outside. Motion offense. Baseline jumper on the way. Owen had a good look. St. Mary's can run. Marigny. Oh, crossover dribble. Up oh, and in. Nice, nice move. Can you say crossover dribble? Oh, my goodness. That was a full speed coming down the floor. Watch this, right to left. And I'll tell you what, Tony Young is a great defensive player. Marigny blows right by him. What a great offensive move. Owen fouled him on the way up, so a three-point try. Marigny, after a slow start now, was seven points, three of seven. You know, he's on the court. He says, I like to lead by example. I'm not real vocal. He leaves that up to E.J. Rowland, the point. Well, I'll tell you what, the scoring is up to him. He's their leading scorer at 17 a game, averages 24 in their last six games. Bob, tell me about going in at halftime after the start. They've got to feel good. I'm talking St. Mary's to be down 33-25, now make it 35-25. But I feel the tempo changing a little bit here. I think they need to keep pushing the basketball and get this guy to the, to the free throw line as much as possible. Turned it over that time. Marigny took an extra step. A little too much, but I'll tell you what. Mentally, he's got to get aggressive on the offensive end. When you are being pressured like they're being pressured, you have to respond. And occasionally taking a bad shot is not such a bad idea. Owen, they struggle down here too defensively, Greg. The motion has hurt them. Brooks looks inside, now goes to the wing, stolen. Here comes Roland. Up, swatted away. Oh, what a play by Young. I believe he's going to be called for a foul on that one. 
He's going hard to the basket. Here comes Young, gets part of his hand. Not a bad foul. You don't want to give away an easy play right here. Make them earn it from the free throw line. And that's where E.J. Rowland will be. Rowland scoreless. He has started all 34 games for Randy Bennett. Averaging 11 points a game, makes the first, and wins the on Survivor for one try, but it's a fight to stay in the game. After losing every immunity challenge, they need the next win more than ever. Don't miss a new Survivor on a special night. It's Wednesday at 8, 7 Central on CBS. And St. Mary's gonna have to fight to stay in this game as well. First points for Roland, leads them in assists and steals. Had nine points and nine assists against Gonzaga. He too must get involved in the scoring side. St. Mary's floating on an island right now with their own, Bob. You're right. <laughs> you got that right. Final so, seconds ticking down. Tatum. Man, is he quick, huh? Woo. On the dribble, handoff baseline. Now to the kick to the corner. Good ball movement and no bucket. The horn sounds, and we played 20 minutes in Oklahoma City. The seventh seed in the Chicago bracket leading the tenth seed, St. Mary's Gales. 35 to 26. Kicker with 11 points. And it's been well rounded for the Salukis, Bob. Matt Shaw with six. Tatum and Brooks with five apiece. We'll send you to New York. Great Gumble after these messages.